gamers and gentle gamers. Oh yeah. Wolf for initiative. Oh. Oh shit. Woo! Oh, I hit killer. Your, to- your token. I sh- I'd like to thank uh, Shmei for ruining the monetization on this. <laughs> You're welcome. Fuck it. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. I'm Tormented by Gnomes. I will be your dungeon master during today's adventure. And joining me is my uh, less esteemed than usual cast. But <laughs> <laughs> Echo Foot, I guess, is pretty cool. What We've also. Oh, oh, well, you know. we got Ninja Men Matt. We've got the one and only Slug Slayer. And of course, we've got Shipman Shmei. Uh, Echo Foot, wow. what's up? What's good? Hey, I'm surprised at how high Umberto has rolled. So, yeah, those numbers are well good. For today. Those numbers are good. And everyone clicked on their tokens. That's fantastic. I don't get any XP. Damn. <laughs> Better luck next time. Good lord, excuse me. Mm. Oh. Are we scuffed? No. Oh, we... no. I think we're just demonetized. Is what we're, yeah, we're just playing. demonetized. We're not scuffed. Um, cool. We are slightly scuffed because the thing that's supposed to show the stream lose cards isn't deployed, so I'm going to have to do some witchcraft for a moment. Cool, uh, cool, but cool. But meanwhile, s- save me some time here. Ninja Man Matt, what's going on, my guy? I am doing pretty darn good. I've got four D&D games in five days. I've already DM'd the two I was going to DM. I have today, and then I have Tuesday. So that's fun. <laughs> he, he's mostly dice rolls now. The marathon. Yes. yes. Exactly. 90% dice rolls. I just keep seeing, whenever I close my eyes, there's just dice everywhere. Mm-hmm. Lots of ones and 20s, especially. It's the Tetris effect. You close your eyes, and it's just like all the dice. Exactly. I am the man who rolls the dice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he doesn't see code anymore. It's just the Matrix. Mm-hmm. It's just dice everywhere. <laughs> Instead uh, of ones and zeros, it's ones and 20s. <laughs> Uh, Slug, what's going on with you? Uh, same old, same old. Kids are kids, and kids are kids. So, you know, it goes. Sure. I feel both of those. <laughs> and every possible intonation thereof. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, that couldn't have been more eloquent, honestly. <laughs> Sometimes less is more. Uh, last but not least, Ship and Shmei, what's going on? Definitely last, definitely least. Um... <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? You said it, not us. <laughs> From Someone the mouth of to. babes flows the truth. <laughs> Someone had to. Uh, yeah, I'm good. I uh, I got a, a cool flight stick and a, a throttle control thing for Christmas that I use for Rogue Squadron, Kerbal Space Program, and some flight simulators. And I uh, have been doing nothing but teleporting bread the entire holiday break. And the moment I got back to my desk, I was like, why isn't there? Why aren't there flight controls on my desk? This is very, very not fun. Um, but yeah. Ready to kill some uh, evil devils and save the city. Right on. Well, speaking of evil devils and saving the city, when last we left our heroes. Hold on. No, there's a, there's a right way and there's a wrong way to do this, folks. Uh, we're going to be doing the wrong way, aren't we? It's always the wrong way. There we go. This is the right way to do things. So, when last we left our heroes, they stood within the streets of the prematurely damned city of El Turel shaking and broken from its transition into the first circle of hell, into Avernus itself. The streets are covered with fire and earthquakes. Devils and demons prowl through the cobblestones, preying upon the panicked and suffering people of this city. Our heroes upon arrival have already started gathering survivors together, hoping to lead them to safety at the High Hall in the center of El Turel. They've encountered bar, uh, predatory bar guests, a group of devils, and now they've approached an inn called A Pair of Black Antlers, seeking out more survivors and supplies. Upon arrival, they found a battle between a group of minotaurs and a pack of devils. Let us turn now to that very scene. Oh, that happens every time? Oh my gosh, that's cool. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Last time, our heroes decided to intervene on the behalf of the Minotaurs, deciding that the devil they know is worse than the devil they don't. And so, uh, yeah, we rolled for initiative. Mate, sorry, what? real quick. Every every now and then, the voice you're using keeps, like, cutting out a bit. Like, not all the time, but it has, like, highs and lows. What voice am I using? It should just be the normal voice. 
This is well, the then, place. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. If, I don't know if it's just me, but every now and then it kind of like zooms yeah, it and was then doing out. That for me too. And, yeah. All right, I'll I'll increase the uh, overall volume on it. I'm pretty sure it he might be his... just you. Yeah, talk like moving your mouth around. Maybe it's like moving away from the talky part. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he put his fan or his uh, microphone on an oscillating fan, and it's just going back and forth away from his mouth. There you go. That that sounds correct. That's true. That uh, that's the latest meta in broadcast production. You got a chocolate rain that shit, all right? All the way. <laughs> uh, I have to move away from the mic when I breathe. Exactly, exactly. But what if the mic is with you? Oh, God. <laughs> the mic will be with you always. So The mic was inside the house. <laughs> <laughs> the real mic was the friends made along the way. <laughs> anyway. Actually, Mike was my father's name. <laughs> Mine too. Funny thing. There we go. <laughs> okay. Wait, is Mike all of our dads? Is our microphone dad? Oh my god. This is getting too meta for me. The companions of the Crimson Chain. All right. Enough of this nonsense. Oh uh, heck. Maybe not. There's Hold always on. more nonsense. Uh, for some reason, it locked onto the wrong. Oh, cool. We can see all the. You know, there's always there's always some uh, scuff to overcome in situations like this, my friends. So. Let's, uh, you know, if we just upgraded all of our graphics. There's going to be some issues. Everyone say hi to the camera. Uh, hello, hi there, camera. camera. Hello, camera. <laughs> We're getting a little behind the scenes. Yeah, l slightly less slick at the moment. Okay, let me fix my no, battle I'm, mat. No, I'm a big fan, big fan. Let me fix my battle mat. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, I'm actually not in battle yet, but you can fix your pre-battle mat. Okay, there. There we go. Okay. Also, mate, you probably already know this, um, but just because you're doing your, your scuff stuff right now, I figure before you give a cool introduction, then I ruin it by reminding you of something. It kind of already um, happened, but it's not your fault this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. A badass stream loots cart was played to where at the beginning of initiative... You're, oh, I was getting to that. I just, I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure. You know? Actually, that was the next thing I was going to do. Okay, so the next yes. step of this incredibly professional, well-produced stream is Ooh. one of our stream loots cards. We have stream loots cards now for Baldur's Gate Ascension Woo! as our own unique deck in addition to the 5th edition cards which are eligible to be played during the stream. The Infernal Tactics card, which is a Zariel card, has been played. Immediately after rolling initiative, the minions of Zariel can swap their initiative results with each other. So, returning oh, now to the battle. No longer showing the DM's secret screen. Now wait, does it have to be a minion of Zariel, or can it be an enemy of the companions? It has, to be, it has to be a minion of Zariel with this card. Ooh. Okay, cool. Fortunately, these devils count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, of course, of course. I, was I think you and I have different definitions of fortunately. But... <laughs> <laughs> Motives here, people. Motive. Okay. Also, are the little the little spindle devils, are they rolling in? No. They are lurking on the rooftop. Just watching. How high Just up is watching. the Oh, well, I've got notes on that. Let me see. By the way, the initiative order shall be Crozan, Umbarto, Darius, Robert, then everybody else. Y'all rolled high, and I pre-rolled, and I rolled not high. Not high. <laughs> mm -hmm. that, that tracks. We, we, like, we approached them. Now... To my knowledge, we had we planned on just rolling in and murking fools. Or were we well, kind of, I when we we talked about this back when it was a nice uh, a bone devil, which was very different. Um, that's another thing. Last time I read the the description from the adventure, which said it was a bone devil with undead, but it's actually three barbed devil, three bearded devils, and a barbed devil. So because I feel the like the Minotaurs actually have a better chance against this situation, so we could do Umbarto's original idea, which was let them sort it out and then clean up the end. Um, but we can get involved if you want, or just send them to the gods and let them sort it out after the fact. Just yeah, murk everyone. We can just murk everyone if We've you want. We've not gone like total murder hobo like in its entirety in, in this campaign, have we? We've tried to help more than anything. We kind of get yeah. involved in situations where we always have very good intentions, but just like good intentions, it, it paves the road to Avernus. So, you know, we're we're doing well, here our we best are. what we've got. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, honestly, the, the devils are our enemy. I think if we start there, and if the minotaurs want beef afterwards, you know, they're made of, you know, the ground. So let's take it out. They're made out of meat. They are yeah. literally beef, too. So. <laughs> okay, Crozan, action is on you. I have Ooh, swapped, action is on me. Yeah, I've swapped the initiative yeah. order so that the three barbed devils go before the... the, uh, the three. Uh, why did they do this to me? The three bearded <laughs> devils go before the, the barbed devil. That go before the spine devils. But Crozan, Crozan, Crozan knows this. Would the would the barbed devils be be uh, more angry and evil than the bearded devils? The barbed devil is covered with spikes. So I probably shouldn't goomba stomp on this dude. That would probably no. Hurt. But you could throw one of his friends into him, and that would hurt both of them. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're oh. gonna goomba stomp this guy. Okay. I roll. Run 15 feet. And then jump and then like, boom! Yeah. And then boom! <laughs> his ass. As my, uh, I'd, like, I'd like to. Uh, you looked this up a while ago. Angry. Okay, Please bonus action to rage. When do I? When do I lose that ability? It's next round or next uh, level up, isn't it? Lose what? Uh, I I don't need to spend a bonus action to rage. It, it mm. counts as something else. Might be. It's a free you, action or something like that. You guys are super close to level seven, right? We are super close. Cool. Yeah, we're gonna Goomba stomp his ass. Um, so You're I the one who found the Goomba feet. rules. Yeah, I found I did. it. R run fifteen feet, jump fifteen feet, and I think he has to make a dexterity saving throw. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'm loving this. This is fantastic. Line up. Oh, my words. It? it was in meme anybody... form, and I can't find it. <laughs> Is this, is this is this only Crozen, or can we all just attempt this? I think anyone, <laughs> technically anyone can. Uh, uh, yeah, you, you got to pull up the Goomba stomping rules that you found. I, it's in meme format. That's the problem. It's, <laughs> our channel is just full of memes, and it's not helping. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I literally looked up Goomba stomp fifth edition. So when a player, uh, da 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 da. So here's here's what it is. Uh, when you jump. It's just a lot of talking. Hold on, fuck. <laughs> Consult the bones. Well, I got an 11 on, on my dexterity saving throw, so I probably failed. Oh, but I rolled for the bearded devil. No, because the, 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 whole, the whole point, the whole point is you have to do it when you have 40 speed because you jump and then you land prone. Because when you fall, you land prone on top and they have to dodge you. And you both fall prone. Then you stand up with your last bit of movement, which is 20 feet. And mm -hmm. then you can go to town on them. That's the whole point of this thing. It's basically okay. you're having you're having to fall far enough to where you count as falling. Right. And then you'll, you'll so I think you have to be at least 10 feet in the air. And you know so that's really way helpful count, with that. Huh? If you can freaking fly. <laughs> yep. That's true. You could just airdrop people. I could airdrop <laughs> myself on people. <laughs> Instead of being Mario, now you're a thwomp. <laughs> well, I think, I think Robert is the ideal candidate for thwomping people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he, no, he's just fucking Hulk. He just jumps around everywhere. Right, but then I can Get jump it. on them. Right, so right? If, if we Dumbo drop Robert <laughs> onto someone... <laughs> people's elbow. <laughs> Dumbo drop Robert on, this? and then Crow's Head goes over and drops on someone else, and then, you know, now we've got... So anyways, Adam, do you remember where you posted this thing? I don't. It's in here somewhere. Just roll, <laughs> an, just roll an athletics check. Okay, thank you. Oh my god. We'll just resolve advantage. it this way. It's advantage because you're raging. This was in our our group our backstage chat. Yeah. So here I'm gonna I'm gonna find it and then I'm gonna add it to our homebrew rolls. That's what I'm thank gonna Thank you. Do. Thank you. All right. Both you and the bearded devil are now. I gave him rage. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> He's I upset. Was what that was about. Uh, We're the, on it today, guys. The bearded devil is, uh... is upset, but does not have the ability to rage, and there's no marker for being upset. All right, the bearded devil is now prone. <laughs> you can now stand up and make your full round of attacks, right? Because it doesn't count as an I attack. I can. I absolutely can, and I get. <laughs> well, I would normally get advantage, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, you don't normally get advantage on these attacks. Oh, okay. you're in a rage. You do. Never mind. Ignore me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Unless you just so want I'll... to grab this dude and throw it into that dude. Okay. Roll another opposed athletics check. Oh my god. Get. Oh no! Absolutely. Asshole. Smoked. You know what? I'm gonna do it again. 
Hey, uh, real quick, let me just say, so it's Tasha's Cauldron and everything, optional rules. You can jump onto another creature to go prone. If you run 10 feet, jump another 10 feet, land on the creature, fails the DC 15 dexterity saving throw, you're both prone, and then you use your last 20 feet to stand up, and then you can do your, your weird stuff. All right, so thank you. Yeah, 10, 10, 10, 10, 20, DC 15, dex save. Yeah, right. save that somewhere, but the point is now this creature is grappled. However, you've used your bonus action to rage, so you don't have a, a free action to yeet. Ah, all right. So only the first half of the combo was executed. Uh, uh, slobber chops. Do you want slobber chops to go in? Yes, slobs will uh, follow me, and he will. Where did I put him? Where should I put him? He'll be right next to me. He's gonna bad at this guy. Okay, roll an attack with advantage. <clears throat> advantage. Wow. Uh, signature wow. attack. Go. Oh my 20. <laughs> Nine points of damage. Scritch, scratch. Umbarto, it is your turn. What would you like to do? Um, I recently discovered this amazing tactic where mm -hmm. I can uh, optic blast people. Cool. Keep in mind that if you use your optic blast on a prone target at range, they'll have you'll have disadvantage to hit them. Well, I've got plenty of targets. This is, as they say, a target-rich environment. All right. Who's the lucky winner? Uh, let's go with the far right one. Okay, cool. Roll for it. Wow. The nice. optic blade. <laughs> that, that is a miss. That's a big old miss. All right, let's do it again. That is a hit for 11 points of force damage. Wow. Okay, cool. And then uh, Rhea, I think, will charge in. Uh, can she go the full... That's twenty five, right? Yeah, she's good. And then she'll she'll roll and uh, do an attack on the guy that's cool. prone with them. And she has advantage on the attack. Great, good for her. At least someone does. Get me a smackin. Yeah, that is a successful schmackity. Cool, thirteen nice. slashing damage. Cute. Excellent, Darius. It's um, your go ahead. Who's bonded with Lulu? Me. Robert. Cool. Got it. As the Proceed. urban texts describe. <laughs> <laughs> there okay, so it seem, it seems like we're all going to town on that one, right? I hit the one on the far right as well. Oh, you hit this? Oh, you hit that one? Ah, crap. Yeah. Well, just because he was an open target and I needed to, to shoot someone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, so, so far, this one has been... Oh, it's only been hit by Slobber Chops, right? The one that he's grappling right now? Yeah. No, it got there hit go. by Slobber Chops, and it got hit by Rhea as well. Cool, okay, good. Yeah, now I can see health, so it's making more sense. Sorry, I'm trying to add things to Google Docs on the on the side. Mm -hmm. I'll take a break from that request. to kill. I am doing it now. I move up uh, to within dice. range, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and have Darren swoop down, and if I attack and hit, they're going to do their thing, so that's going to move up close enough. Swooping is bad. Yes. Remember, okay, there is target is prone. You'll have disadvantage to hit. Oh, okay. So yeah. That's I, oh, I now, them, yeah. now I now I see the prone thing. Very mm -hmm. good. Well, so here's the cool thing about that. Uh, Darius is going to go ahead and just take five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Darius is going to step up. And just to tap this with the salted blade. <laughs> and I'm just going to yeah. I'm just going to own the crap out of this guy. What are you talking about? This is sneak. So, uh, nah. This is sneak attack, and this is advantage. Yep. All right, and we haven't established if the minotaurs are on our side, have we? We just started like we just bounced into this. All right, mm -hmm. cool. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use a bonus action to oh minor omen. Cool. And yeah, enjoy my salted nuts. God, oh my God, every time. A eleven, a dual eleven. I don't think that is. I'm afraid it doesn't, my guy. Oh no. Mm. Profoundly, well, profoundly here's the, here's the thing about that. I have, uh, no, I can't use inspiration. Uh, you can use well, luck, but you can't use inspiration. No, 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 it's, it's okay. Uh, so yeah, no, that's uh, unfortunate, un, uh, unsounded. Big unlucky. Terrible, in fact. Yeah, huge unlucky. All right, Darren, go for the shot. Yeah, Darren's going to go ahead and attack, and uh, I didn't hit, so they have to do a normal hit. Mm -hmm. And Talons, go. Wow. You have advantage if you're hitting the same if you're hitting the same thing. Oh right. Because it's uh, on the ground, grappled by a smelly well, a very clean dwarf actually. 
Yeah. So this is going to be plus. Uh, be hey, oh, six. so that's a natural 20. So roll another d4. Damn it. I didn't think that was going to happen. Is the thing. <laughs> uh, it's 10 points of damage. Nice. All right. And Darren has flyby attack. So Darren's going to swoop in and then swoop right back out again. Hell yeah. Let's go. Robert, yeah. it is your turn and Lulu's turn. Okay. Launch the ICBM. Yeah. I mean, I have, I have five feet of movement left, so I'm going to just pop right over here. Copy that. Um, I'm going to use my boots of striding and springing, apparently. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Goomba stop, baby! <laughs> Do it! <laughs> <laughs> this is the new door magic. Yes! <laughs> Dynamic. Door magic is the old, is the old style. This is oh, the he's the oh. to save. Oh, geez. You have to land on a square adjacent to him. Adjacent, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and you land prone, so unless you have half of your movement or more. Uh, which I do, since I'm not doing anything else. Mm -hmm. Well, you moved to 25 feet. Is your move speed 50? Oh, no, it's 30. Oh, yeah. but I'm not doing any other movement, right? No, it takes half your movement. It takes 15 square feet of movement to stand up. So if you don't have that much, you are prone. I'm doing a double move. Okay, <laughs> action dash. They can't take a tax of opportunity right now because they are, uh, you have the, the jump on them. Okay. So I move, jump, stand up. Cool. Do you want to move away or are you good where you are? Oh no, I'm the tank, remember. So okay. I'm and yeah. Uh, Lulu, what is Lulu going to do? Um, she'll probably just stomp on the one we're stomping on. Is there anyone else we're stomping on? Or no, I mean, no, okay, all right, stop him. cool. Roll an attack for Lulu. Remember, if you shift to double click on Lulu, you can open up the tusks. Shift double click, shift double click on Lulu, it'll open up the character sheet. Ah, copy. And... Uh, re roll again because you're attacking the one who's prone, so you have advantage on the ah. hit. Could be a 20, but we're taking that first damage result. It's a 20, so three damage. Dink. All right, and that is it for that. Butt kicking for goodness. Lulu's move speed is 120 feet, and you have surprise on them, so if Lulu wants to fly away after that, yeah, go ahead and do so. Copy. Okay, the bearded devils. It is now their turn. All right. This bearded devil right here is going to... Well, none of your attacks were very effective. It is going to attack one of the minotaurs. Once with its beard. That is a hit. It deals six points of damage, and the minotaur must roll a constitution saving throw. That's a success. The Bearded Devil makes a second attack with the Glaive. Another hit for 11 points of damage. The Minotaur must roll a saving throw as I continue to play with my action figures. That is a failure. The Minotaur now has an Infernal Wound. Oh. I forget if there's a good icon for Wounded. I feel like there isn't. We'll just put the. I right usually on. use like yeah, like the crushed in skull or something that mm -hmm. looks like they're hurt. Okay. Crozan, roll an opposed athletics check with advantage as this oh. bearded devil tries to writhe out of your grasp. Yeah, it completely fails to do so. The bearded devil on the on the far end is noticing that the situation is going increasingly dire. Is going. to create a sphere of darkness that, that swarms over the battlefield, obscuring everything in its path. None of you can see crap. Someone's getting hit. Whoa, why, why are you looking like that? That's weird. Oh my. It should be a 20 foot radius. Look at that effect. Right? You're good. Nice. Cool. Thank you, Matt. <clears throat> All right. Action. Drop darkness over the entire battlefield. Oh. Nobody can see anything inside. 
Except no, for the devils. <laughs> no, except for the devils. No bonus action. That is it for the devils. The minotaurs are going to continue their attacks even though they can't see crap. Striking recklessly at the devils. So they are using reckless oh. attack, which means that they get advantage, which means they neutralize the disadvantage that they had a moment ago, and they swing that about a swing. A miss from the first Minotaur. They bellow defiantly, angrily. A hit from the second Minotaur, but he only deals Ooh. half damage because they don't have magic weapons. Oh no. The third one is going to attack the, uh, the same weakened devil. A miss, and the fourth one, also a miss. And then the first guy is gonna take infernal wound damage. As the that's pretty nasty. It like stacks too, doesn't it? It does stack. It's part of their whole kit. Okay. Guys, don't get hit by them. Now their leader, the barbed devil. Hmm. Well, can't do that. That's there's no point to that. What does this do? Spiked growth in the very center of the darkness. Wait a minute. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> nice. All right. This is one of the ones that you hate, isn't it? Yes. Yes, this is one of my least favorite spells. Can confirm. All right. That is I'm it. Glad I'm on the edge of that. The whole area is difficult terrain. And if you move through it, you will take damage for every five feet you travel. Worth. Also, none of you can see crap. Crozan, it's your turn. You cannot see anything. Magical darkness obscures your vision, but you still have a bearded devil in your grasp and you're still I raging. I am. What I do you do? <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna throw him at this dude or attempt to throw him in that direction. Okay, roll an opposed athletics check. He does not wish to be yeeted. You wish to cause yeeting. He shall be yoked. It don't matter. 17 versus my... One. 10. The yeeting will continue until morale improves. Woo! You hurl him into the other target, into the bearded devil. No, God dang it. Why do I keep <laughs> doing this? I will not give out experience points for every time that I call the devil the wrong thing, by the way. That is that's not going to is, happen. That's no problem. All right. Back to the stat block. Do, 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 do. Barbed hide. Okay, that only applies to creatures who are... All right. The impact kills this one with a splorch. Oh and you, you cannot tell exactly how effective it was against the boss devil. That was a bonus action? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You are stumbling in the darkness. What would you like to do? Uh, I would attempt to move on top of him and, and grapple that guy. Okay, you take six points of piercing damage. Half of that, baby. I was going to say magical piercing damage, but I think you just resist. Correct. All right, cool. And roll an opposed grapple check with no more advantage because you are in the dark. Uh -huh. Should For I reroll that or just take the first We're going to take the nine. I got a 13. Oh. Your first attempt fails. You may attempt to go again if you want. I shall. I shall okay. attempt to go again. Oh, oh. 20. Oh. We all saw that. Oh. If it meets, it beats. The status quo remains. Meaning, you still do not successfully grapple this thing. Yeah, that tracks. Uh, Sorry, guys. It is Slobberchop's turn. Slobberchop's can see invisibility, but cannot see in magical darkness. And he is floating, isn't he? He is flying, yes. Oh, I could have been knowing that. Damn it. All right. <laughs> I'm floating. What would you like to do? He is going to... If he moves under feet, is that touching the ground? Yes. Not worth. He's going to bat at him. Okay. He can use his... But... His what? His new, his oh, new, he does have a mrawr. Yeah, he has a new ability Yeah, he's going to do a mrawr. 
Okay, he hurls himself onto the f into the face, National Lampoon oh, style, God. jumping on the devil's face. The devil is now blinded and grappled until they use their action to make an opposed check. At the oh, this is a once a day ability. At the end of Slobberchops' turn, because Slobberchops has not been removed yet, Slobberchops automatically deals claw damage. All your retainers may have recently gained new abilities from level ups, so be able be sure to check that out. God. Cool. Slobs you the best. I love you. Wow. 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 So roll that uh, claw wow. damage because you automatically inflict it. Is that just the signature attack? Yes. And Slobachops is a magical flying cat, deals magical damage, deals seven points of damage to the bearded devil. Nice. Nice. That's the end of my turn. All right, Umbarto, it's your turn. You're outside the darkness, but if you, it's going to be really difficult for you to target things inside the darkness. What would you like to do? Do I have anything that can help me see through invisible or through evil darkness? Evil sight. I think, I mean, that is a feature that you can pick up, but I don't think you have it. No, I don't think I've picked it. Do you have Dispel Magic? Oh, what might? Checking. Are these short rest and long rest buttons new? I feel like that's no, new. No, I don't have it. I'm sorry. I believe they are new. All right. Really? Well, then you have basically you just have to make a choice of what you want to do. If I shoot, am I just at disadvantage or is it worse than that? You know the last place that they were. If they had moved, you would be at disadvantage. Or actually, if you'd moved, then you would just be targeting the square and probably hitting the Minotaur. If they haven't moved, which they haven't had a turn since it was your turn, then you're at disadvantage. So you can still then shoot I'll, the shot. Yeah, I'll just do disadvantage for that. That's All right. not a problem. Same target as before? Uh-huh. Okay. I, uh, I shout out, All right, let me know if you get hit, any of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that idea at all. <laughs> Alright. So anyways, he starts blasting. You fire your first optic blast into the darkness. You have no idea whether or not a hit. You have a second oh. optic blast. Same darkness, get wrecked. <laughs> I'm attacking the darkness. <laughs> yep. Oh, nice damage. That, that is a hit. I will roll a constitution saving throw, which I succeed to hold the spell. It is now- ah, That was the guy with the spell. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, ah. It is Rhea's turn. Rhea knows Rhea... Where, the, where the barbed devil is, but has basically no eyes on anything else. Rhea does the thing that uh, Miss um, Elastigirl does in the first Incredibles movie where she reaches around and finds the guy's face by following um, uh, Crozan's arm, mm -hmm. finds his face, holds his face, and then hits it with her sword. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll an attack uh, at disadvantage. Uh, wash Act my hands, please. Actually, <laughs> it's, it's a flat attack. It's a flat attack because the enemy's blinded attack. by being... <laughs> oh yeah, there's a cat on the face too. Right. I don't get the cat or Crozan. All right, here we go. A swing. That's a hit. Giggity, giggity, get wrecked. For nine slashing damage. Chopped. All right, that's it for Umbarto, right? Yep. Darius, it's your turn. So question, mm -hmm. it's as if you move through. If I move out of it, do I still take damage just stepping out of this place? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say every time you enter a square under the effect, you take damage. So question, is this a safe path to only take one hit against this thing to hit this guy? Yes. Cool, I do that. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and move yourself to that side. You step on the spikes and you take 2d4 da magical piercing damage. So four points of magical piercing damage. And Remember, guys, we all have 30 temporary hit points, so don't forget about those because no. those are going to... Yeah, Matt, if I recall, the rules on sneak attack are you can't sneak attack if you have disadvantage on the attack. If you have disadvantage on the attack, that is correct. However, uh, I am going to uh, figure this thing out. Don't worry about it. I have a plan. The plan is to come uh, up with a plan. The plan is to come up with a plan. Robert, you're next. Got me. Uh, yeah. So Darius, as he steps out of the uh, the darkness, he's going to look up to Darren, do a little uh, command to have Darren zoom right to where he needs him to be. Zoom, Darius is, or the bird's going to go and flank with him. So that way he gets advantage, disadvantage, and it cancels out. Okay. And... Let me figure out how fast, how fast was that for the bird. That was bird. It's 30 movement. Perfect. All right. So Darius is getting a normal attack. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
he should be flanking, so no no issue. So he keeps everything. He had minor omen from last time that didn't hit, so that's going to keep going. Do you want to use your bonus action to continue to charge that omen? I used bonus action to dash because I had to move 55 feet to get here. Got it, got it. Normally, I totally would have, though. You know I would have. And come on! Are you kidding me? Are you gonna? Do you have luck or anything to throw at that? <laughs> no, no, I don't. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm all out of luck. Is the thing. That's, That's incredible. Okay, roll a dexterity saving throw. Wait, no, I, I have luck. Are you kidding me? Damn it! Yes, I'm gonna use a luck point. Son <laughs> of a bitch. Of course, okay, I have luck. Reroll, and we're gonna take the the damage result from the first, unless you crit. Okay, that's the 20. That's 20. a hit. You inflict 28 points of damage. God damn! Jeez. Would you like to use your reaction to finish him? Uh, no. I would like to have Darren finish him with his <laughs> signature attack. Okay. Darren finishes off, and the concentration breaks. The darkness passes. I'm leaving this circle up to show the area of the spike oh, stones. Yes. Yeah, that, that tracks. That tracks. Who has the spike growth up? Oh, it's this guy right here. Okay, yeah, yeah that tracks. It's, a, it's the barbed devil. Who and then Darren. It, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Oh no, you go ahead. You go ahead. He succeeded on his last saving throw. That's all. Great. Darren goes back and resets next to Lulu with his flyby attack. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it for Darius. Robert, it's your turn. The darkness has lifted. Hey. Well, I think it's time to get out of heaven's fall. Oh, you know, Darius isn't a chonky bird anymore, but now he's a quick bird. I like this. Mm -hmm. The lightning bird. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah. We are going that to, is a to, high rolls. to beat you to death. That's a hit, my friend. I feel like Robert and I switch places because usually he would have a hard time with that hammer and I would crush with my blade and this time around I'm having a very hard time. <laughs> All right. What about Lulu? Uh, she'll do another flyby. Okay. Oh. Now they will get attacks of opportunity. Mm. Um, but if Lulu moves here, would have flanking. Let's. She'll stay out for now. Just okay. Case. All done. She's on All Overwatch. Done. Does Lulu have a ranged attack? I thought she could shoot like once like a day. Stuff. Once a day, she can oh, shoot sparkles. Oh, once a day. Oh, yeah. okay. Be sure to track these things because it's all the same day. <laughs> okay. It is now the Bearded Devils. Why is it still playing this track? New track, please. There we go. New track. All right, Robert. You now, with that holy weapon, you have gained this Bearded Devil's attention. Congratulations. God. The Bearded Devil casts Darkness. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> What a coincidence. Did somebody say darkness? <laughs> That's it for the Bearded Devils, actually. It's now time for the Minotaurs. They had like one flash of, okay, where's the battlefield? All right, now we know. Are good. <laughs> good. <laughs> Two of them are focusing their fire on this Bearded Devil right here. Slash. Oh, they should have disadvantage on this. Eh, it's a miss anyways. No, they're using reckless no, attacks. Yeah, reckless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second one also attacks the same target. Chomping oh. into it for 10 points of oh. slash damage because Dang. of resistance. The yeah, other yeah. two both focus their fire on the barbed devil, roaring and bellowing in bovine rage. Bovine rage. Bovine rage. That wow. is 12, so 22 points of damage. Dang. Nice. And that is going to be a saving throw. For both of them, right? That is a <gasps> failure. So the spiked Ooh. stones are gone, and I'm leaving that up because there's new darkness. <laughs> Wait, but what about the guy who was casting darkness? Did he get hit? Yeah, he got hit once. That's true. He has to roll safe. He's fine. Balls. All right. No, ball. King is ball. <laughs> ball is life. All right, now that the, no, there's darkness again, so I still can't use that ability. Okay, that's fine. Let's see, I'm grappled. Uh, I use my spike stones, that's done. So I guess we're just gonna go ahead and make all of our focus fire attacks. Oh no, there's a freaking cat on my face. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use my action to attempt to rip the cat off of my face. So this is an opposed athletics or acrobatics check. So slobber chops may make a strength or dexterity check to avoid getting removed. At 
uh, normal, not advantage? Yeah, flat. It's gonna be a dex. 100%. Oh, oh, goodness. oh goodness. no! Okay. Well. I remove. Hey, hey, mate, just just a reminder. Uh, you're on. You're on stream. Whatever you do, this cat. Everyone's gonna judge you. Just putting that out there. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to use a reaction to hurl slobber chops against the wall after removing. Ow! Slobber chops. Disadvantage this man, please! Oh, oh my gosh! Slobber he chops cats. takes no damage, but slides down the oh. wall like that Muppet cat from Muppet <laughs> Christmas Carol and is stunned. Okay, never mind. Don't don't disadvantage him. He made it a Muppet scene. It's fine. We're cool. No cats were harmed in the making of this meme. Cats have contractual... The blessing of Ilmater has been granted to our heroes. <laughs> by a Streamlux card. Oh, yeah. Cool. Ooh, that looks so cool. So here's what this is. A hey. companion of the Crimson Chain may use their reaction to suffer an effect or attack that targeted someone else they can see. Now, oh. there's darkness, Ooh. so none of you can see this yet. But... Gotcha. That ability stays in place. A lot of the ill modder cards, uh, there's uh, Crimson Chain cards, there's ill modder cards, there's Zariel cards, there's Avernus cards, there's, uh, there's Baldur's Gate themed cards, all sorts of things. So this ill modder blessing stays in place. And a lot of the ill modder blessings are about suffering on behalf of others. So does that just like kind of stay in the tank even if this, if this battle's over kind of a thing? Uh, yes. Cool. All right. Nice. Oh, that's so, so cool. So we can use it like in an RP scene. That's awesome. So this uh, Bearded Devil, his, yep, yep, yep. All right, that is it for him. He uses action and then he uses reaction. Crozan, it's your turn. What would you like to do? You yeah, cannot so I, see. I, there is darkness. I'm gonna grapple this dude. He's still grappled. Oh he's no, he's not grappled. grappled. That was the cat. Yeah, yeah. All because I hadn't done it yet. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, it now is, it's your turn. You're gonna have darkness still exists, right? So so this becomes flat. Yeah. Well, crap. Yeah, baby. Oh, one thing I forgot. Slobber Chops does take damage. Because what? Never mind. Disadvantage this man. <laughs> Slobber Chops oh, no. takes 10 points of damage because wow. the Barbed Devil has an ability that at the start of its turn, any creature grappling it takes damage. Oh. Yeah. So that wasn't, yeah. you know. That so, was separate. Is, yep. Does Slobs have temporary hit points? From bathing, yes. Go ahead okay. and uh, make those modifications, please. Use the red bubble for those temporary hit points. That is a good point. All right. Meanwhile, back to this. I'm going to roll a strength check. I got a natural one. Nice. With, with a natural one, I'm going to grant you the ability to use your reaction to deal an extra attack if you want. Yes, please. Your reaction will be on cooldown until the start of your next turn, but you'll, you'll have it. All right. Your first action was a successful grapple. <laughs> uh, that was That's a miss. It's a miss. This guy's too spiky. But you may now use your reaction to do more silvered knuckle duster attacks. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, roll it. <laughs> You're hitting and hitting, and like spikes are breaking off, but dealing ac no actual damage. It is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Your reaction is now gone, Umbarto. It's your turn. I I saw the beard, the barbed devil. <laughs> mm hmm. So you. Um, have I yeah, I saw him right before he got grappled by Crozan, right? Yes. Or right before the darkness reappeared. Yes, okay. you, you had like a, a flash of the battlefield. You were able to see everything. If I fire into it, will I hurt uh, Crozan? Only if you beef it, since they're grappling. All right. I, I yell out again. All right. Y yell if you get hit again. <laughs> <laughs> Blah! <laughs> That is a successful hit for 10 yeah. points of force damage. Roll your second optic blast. Oh. Wow. That is not a successful hit, but it's not so low that you hit an ally. Okay. By the way, the Blessing of right. Ilmater lets you take, even if it's a hit that is like 100 feet away from you, as long as you can see it, you can just switch it to you. Dang. Oh, wow. Now, yeah. right now, I can't see anything because Correct. of darkness. But Raya. All right. Raya, uh, she doesn't get to automatically hit, right? She has to roll now because she's her own Correct. person. Correct. Okay, cool. She will swing for the for the spiky guy. Okay, you have disadvantage because grapple doesn't oh, impose. Um, I'll do two. There yeah, we'll just roll Wait, a sec. She's she's not a retainer anymore. The retainers don't get auto hits anymore. Oh, they don't. Mm -hmm. Oh. But oh. That, that is a hit for eleven points of damage. 
So I love how the damage is identical with both rolls. I know, That's right? Um, <laughs> Darius, it's your turn. Okay. Well, I saw where that devil was, but there's still... <laughs> Wait, there's no more spikes, right? It's just darkness? Correct. Yeah. No. Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah, Wait. okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I saw where he was, so I, mm -hmm. I move up here. And, uh, I mean, I'm flanking, and it, gets, it negates the disadvantage, so, yeah, mm -hmm. we're good. Darius is going to... Oh. Just play Marco Polo with Prozan until you find the guy. <laughs> oh, God, Marco no, that's my Polo. arm! Marco! <laughs> Fifteen? Fifteen is a hit. Yeah, and because seven points to he, it's because he got the uh, what is that? The herald, the prophet, the omen. I don't remember what your yes. official title is. What's your proficiency yes. bonus, Matt? Uh, that would be plus three. Okay. Uh, then this guy is not finishable yet. Oh, unfortunate. But here's the thing: I got a bird. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> bird's gonna, it's gonna swoop in uh, above uh, mm -hmm. Crozant to raise flanking. Roll an attack with, with advantage. Well, roll well, a flat, be, a flat attack. Yeah, normal attack. Yeah, and come on, Talons. Yeah, day twenty, baby. Nice. Death. Scratch their eyes out, Darren. And then, Pocket yeah, Darren's, wow. Darren's going to keep returning back next to Lulu, just like cuddling <laughs> up, like, hey, yeah, what up? <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> just zipping in and out of combat. Uh, that was 10 feet. Uh, Darius is going to just kind of pop over here next to Robert. Going to, like, stop. Excuse me. Pardon me. Uh, and just stumbling through the through the darkness, <laughs> pushing between Prozan and Rhea uh, before he kind of, like, ends up next to Robert. Okay, good. There's a big tank here. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. Robert, it's your turn. Can I ask Lulu to flank? Yes. And then I will try to smack to interrupt. Flat Robert attack. Here. Flat attack. Hey. Holy Ooh. crap. We're on a roll today. Uncommonly high for you. Yeah. You never hit with anything. No. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Yes. Oh, it's the ogre gauntlets. Are you kidding me? That's why he's hitting. I forgot about the ogre gauntlets. Yeah, it's a plus right. but it's yeah. a plus four. Oh, right. That's why. Oh my he's god. Strong as an ogre. You have oh popped god. the spell. The bearded devil is staggered by the holy light of heaven's fall and the ogre strength clonking to the head he just got. Yeah. The darkness spell fades, and uh, Lulu's already in position. Might as well make an attack with advantage. Hard Story. yes on that. Just imagine the tiny elephant just like. Whoa! <laughs> oh! <laughs> A natural twenty for six points of piercing damage. Yeah. Justice will prevail. <laughs> <laughs> that it for you, Robert? That's it. All right. That was a pretty damn good turn. The bearded devil is going to turn on Lulu and swing with the glaive. No. What a Lulu! Mm -hmm. How dare! It's a celestial. How that is, a, bastard. that is a hit for eight points oh, no. of damage. Lulu must roll a constitution saving throw. Uh, Nick, you want to take oh, this? Sorry. That's, Nick, a, you want to that's a success. You want to Ilmatra this and take it? Oh, uh, no. Uh, she made it, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay good. And uses the beard attack also on Lulu. The beard attack. It attacks mm -hmm. with the beard. Yeah, the beard is like nasty and poisonous, and so he attacks with the glaive and attacks with the beard. That is a miss. It is now the Minotaur's turn. This Minotaur is still bleeding out. And now that they can see, they're going to 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 beat you to death. Wait a minute. Wait, what? No, no, no. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> nah. They have advantage on their attacks now. So this one is going to slash right in for 22 uh, points of damage, which is halved, but then he's going to use his reaction to use his gore attack to finish yeah. him. Yeah. By the way, I like everyone's outcry of surprise when, like, wait, the Minotaurs are going to betray us after we talked about possibly betraying them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we hadn't yet, you know? We hadn't. No, of course not. All we right. never. At least wait until we betray you before you betray us. I yeah, mean, come on. Comic courtesy here. The Minotaurs, <sighs> huffing and stomping at the ground, they turn to look at you. Is that infernal? No, it's not infernal. Well, 
Is that under common? No, it's not under common. Well, I don't know what the hell that is then. It's not Minotaurish. Hello there. <laughs> General Kenobi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's not a we come though. in relative peace. Okay. They are going to start walking around the side of the structure and they gesture for you to follow. The one who's bleeding out is still bleeding out. Uh, enemy of my enemy uh, can die too. The guys up here, are they are they just like watching? Menacingly? Yeah, they're, they're just, just, just standing there menacingly. You know the vultures from uh, Snow White? They're watching like Neh. that's okay. what they're doing. All right. Uh, Slobber Chops is no longer stunned. Is... Um, we we ask our uh, our Hunams to follow us, and I think yeah, we'll just follow these guys. Okay, the group of survivors will. Uh, they're all the same. Darius is gonna back up to the sur <laughs> yeah. Don't talk to me or my sins ever again. Uh, don't talk to me or me or my son or my son. Ever again. <laughs> Darius is gonna is gonna back up to the me and my me and my son and my son. Hey, uh, have those Minotaurs been attacking? The people of Elturel and like consuming them or doing anything awful, or are they just kind of picking apart? We the, haven't uh, seen them. We haven't met them at all. We don't know. Okay. Understandable. Have a good day. <laughs> uh, good day to you in the hell. <laughs> <laughs> I will see you in hell. I should have installed all the fancy lighting and stuff on this. All right. Um, are you going to do anything about the one who's bleeding out or no? Well, if I, I healing I like him, a single point of like healing does it. Yeah, right? is it like medical check? I have or, medicine. Or just, yeah, just do, do you want to use a medicine check? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll try the gesture. All right. G glares at you and then leans down. Roll a persuasion check, please, Robert. I imagine you just do the, like the Jurassic Park dinosaur with the hand <laughs> thing. <laughs> yes, that works. That, that right. always works. That, that is sufficient. Go ahead and roll a medicine check. You have removed, you've cured the infernal wound. Yay. Good job, Robert. Now watch these guys are like, we are, uh, we are hunting humans. If we don't eat enough humans, we will die. And then as soon as we, we help them out, they break open the end. There's a bunch of babies in there. And they just start eating all the babies and, and cool. we're complicit in the baby. Well, that'll make us, that'll, that'll make us doing what we're going to do even easier. Spoiler <laughs> alert, bro. All right. Hey mate, I, I you you open with a very cool like, hey, this is roll initiative, super awesome. Can I mm -hmm. can I interrupt your 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 coolness for a second? Yeah, go ahead. Interrupt um, my coolness finally I, after the fight. You and I had a uh, conversation about this, um, but remember back when everyone was having baths in the bathhouse and mm -hmm. Darren didn't get to take a bath in the bathhouse. Um, I was doing some research and. Uh, Generally, birds do enjoy having a nice bath. Uh, they prefer bathing uh, only occasionally, but it should happen at least every few days to a week if you're owning a bird. Uh, specifically, you can give your bird a spa day in which you maintain their feathers in a very healthy way. Uh, bathing is a communal thing, so generally you want to make sure if you can that you're kind of doing a little bit of it as well. Uh, specifically aside from just taking a bath as part of the spa day it's interacting with your bird not just saying hey jump in the tub and use some essential oils we want them to be able to hang on you you can build that connection with them by having them rest on you if they can hang upside down that's pretty cool too uh you do silly talk with them. You want to make sure that you're, you know, getting in those goo goos and gagas, whatever it is that you do to have that connection. But I just want to make a case that uh Darren and uh and 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 uh Darius considering they are both Father, son, bird, you know, I am the knight, I am Batman. Uh, they would have made, you know, a, a whole a whole thing of it. And I think that Darren would have been able to benefit from that luxury time just as much as, as anybody would have. <laughs> it's about oh the bath God. at Candlekeep like three episodes ago. It's about the bath <laughs> at Candlekeep, yeah. yeah, yeah All right, yeah, fine. Yeah. Darren can have the temporary hip points. <laughs> Bird Yay! facts are the day. <laughs> I just wanted you to say no after it. Doesn't matter what the <laughs> argument was, just no. I should have done that just for the clip, and then then said no. Fix <laughs> that in post, okay? All right. So the but, uh, but everyone, everybody got a good view of, of of Darius being very baby talk with Darren. Mm -hmm. Who's a little birdie? All right. Are we following this thing into the building? They're going into 
the structure. How high up are these uh, devils hanging off the walls? Oh, I've got some information about that. The pair of black antlers is a two-story structure with the top level 15 feet higher than the ground level. Rooms are 10 feet high. So they're about 35, uh, no, they're about 25 feet in the air. Um, They're just perched on top watching. Um, Can the humans follow us? Yes. uh, Yeah, dares to stay next to them. Somewhat reluctantly. (laughs) Can I uh, jump up and swat one? (laughs) <laughs> yeah you can jump up and swat one. <laughs> wait can we all like in unison just jump up and swat him do you all have the ability to jump 25 feet in the air i have the ability to eldritch blast <laughs> darius is going to move up to where the uh the minotaurs are and be like hey he points up to like all the little things like on three <laughs> it makes like a throwing motion yes <laughs> all right the, the minotaur gets down puts out his hands for like the boost <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, the Minotaur can boost Rhea because uh, she can't mm-hmm. fly, and then uh, I'll just I'll just, I'll pick one and Eldridge blast it. Oh yeah, flying dwarf could get him too, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, uh, everybody, go ahead and do one attack against the. Actually, I'm going to give the Spined Devils a perception check here, or an insight check, or an insight check. Uh, it, either way, it's wisdom. Either, okay, well, yeah. either way, they don't either figure way. out what you're doing yet. Yes. It don't matter. I imagine this is like the scene in Snow White when the dwarves are, are trying to wash Grumpy. <laughs> All right. Everyone roll for initiative. Oh, crap. Oh, we don't just get advantage on the attack? No, you do, but um, they don't. You, you, you do have them by surprise. I just need an initiative order for, you know, science. For reasons. For reasons. I'm gonna click on your character and then click initiative, or else, you know. Oh. A pox on your family. Mm-hmm. Darius, you go first. Uh, did Yikes. you? You wanted a minotaur boost, right? Uh, no, I have. I have throwing daggers. Okay, go ahead and throw those. Are they silvered or magical throwing daggers? Yeah, they're they from your bracers. Are. Yes. Uh huh. I have infinite. both. Okay, go so ahead. So if roll the it. minotaur needs so to boost cheating. somebody else, the minotaur can boost somebody else. Rhea. Rhea. Yeah, Rhea's yeah, already Rhea. got a boost. Oh, okay, cool. Umberto's just going to be thrown anyways. doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. So, All flesh well, must be yeeted. <laughs> Unfortunately, combat ended, so so did your rage, Crozan. No! All right. Son of a bitch. And uh, we're going to go ahead and number one. Uh, so the, wait, you said this was a sneak attack, right? Mm-hmm. Well, hell, if the Minotaur's going to give me a boost, I'll just use the Salted Blade. Why the hell not? Okay. <laughs> Minotaur. Hut. And, oh, actually, mate, how long c- can we, can I, can I, like, supercharge the ohm? Like, just be oming the whole time <laughs> until we get there. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Cool. Give me the super ohm. I want to see it. This is how much damage I can do if I really try. <laughs> Watch him roll a nice Watch me roll a freaking one again, like, straight up. Noise. Wow. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Which one were you attacking? Uh, this one right here next it to me. It doesn't matter. The they're all dead. <laughs> Combo. All right. It explodes in a burst of holy light <laughs> as you st- jump up and stab <laughs> it with a salted plate. Or just and then Darren's just going to peck at the other one. Okay. Roll a peck attack. Roll to hit. Yeah. That's a hit. Yeah. Okay. Crows and then, uh, Sorry, go ahead. Wait, 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 wait. And then, because uh, that was my, my action. That's my bone. That was my, oh, no, I was only one by one action. Never mind. Mm-hmm. Done. Crozan. Yes, I will fly up and, uh, and grapple that guy. Okay. Roll an opposed grapple check. Oh, unfortunately. Yikes. Oh, very unlucky. <laughs> it is now <laughs> grappled. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. Anyways. Yeet him uh, into the other I'm guy. Gonna yeet him into the other guy. Okay. Roll a yeet. yeet. So, anyways, I start blasting. <laughs> All right. Splat. They're both bloodied. Oh my god. Not bad. Not Do bad. they fall off the roof? Oh, they they have wings, so no. Oh. <laughs> he didn't uh, ask that. He asked if they fell off the roof. They do not. Uh, Crozan, okay. you've used an attack and a bonus action to yeet. You have one attack left. I do. I do. Uh, I'm just going to punch. I just Roll it. Can I, can I punch? Yeah, roll it. 
Punch. Falcon. Yeah. Punch. No joy. No joy. All right. Slobs. Yep. Go for it. He's gonna he's gonna attack the same one. Okay. Uh where is that? Signature attack. Yeah. Meow. That's a hit. Not quite Meow. within finishing distance. Umbarta, no, that's right. it's your turn. Okay, so Raya is going to hang over here by this one. And I am going to... Let's see. Nick's got this one, so I guess I should be over here, right? Wherever you want to be. I can be... There's one up on the roof Just over here. Don't be by yourself. <laughs> is wherever you be. <laughs> oh yikes! Okay, I'll be over here then. Um, and I'll I'll blast the guy right above me. Okay, roll it. Giggity giggity giggity. Get Optic blast. Right. Oh, I have disadvantage on. Oops. All right. Well, that's a hit. Thirteen points of force damage. Roll your Woo! second optic blast. Also optic blast. Yikes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You uh, you pop a hole, you blast a hole in the roof or in the building, and from the second story, a minotaur sticks its head out. <clears throat> it wasn't me. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I, I'm being very very penitent. And, uh, <laughs> oh, you know what I do? No, I look around and I'm like, where did that come from? <laughs> Roll like, a deception I, check. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, the structure. Yeah. <laughs> Minotaur. I, you know, heavy shrug. Like, I don't know, man. Where did that come from? Like, <laughs> Minotaur. <laughs> and sticks his head back in. Uh, Rhea, go ahead and get the boost. Oh, All right, so Rhea gets the boost. Oh, my and... God, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Save that roll. <laughs> um, yeah, hold on. Let me pull up Rhea. Shift Rhea double click. does the smack. The flying R. I love the flying R. All right. That is a hit. Robert, you uh, bounce up into the air, right? Yep. You jump you up into the that. air. Please and, tell me you do that. And he does that. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> Swat God. Swat for 11 points of damage. Uh, Lulu. <laughs> flying attack on the same one? Yeah. Okay. Doink. That is it for Robert. Minotaurs. Given... I mean, they basically, like, they have long weapons, and they're giant, mm -hmm. right? So they should just be able to, like, no, those things like were... clean in the gutter. Like. <laughs> 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 All right, so this Minotaur up here is going to make an athletics check to climb the exterior of the building. Yeah. That is a success. Yeah. Climbs up, and then... Swings the great axe for 19 slashing oh, damage. To shreds, you say? Do they have damage resistance? Because they are devils. They do. And the Minotaurs don't have silver weapons. So only nine points of damage. Unfortunate. Mm -hmm. These Minotaurs did not come prepared. This Minotaur. I mean, they are huge. So they're kind of, you know, they're doing all right. <laughs> This Minotaur is going to climb up and swing, batter, batter, swing. The one that Rhea attacked. Rolls a natural one and falls off the roof. Well, <laughs> unfortunate. Uh, really unfortunate. Taking four points of damage. This Minotaur here, uh, let's see, there's actually more of the. It's going to climb up. Same thing, it's going to try to climb up. Eighteen on athletics, swing better, swing with the cute with the enormous great axe, yeah. slashing it for seven points of damage and cleaving it in two. The spined devil is destroyed. Yeah. Another one. And do I have any more minotaurs? Oh, the the super wounded minotaur, minotaur went inside. <laughs> Umbarto, the minotaur that you woke up is gonna like look up at the one that just got fried and just reach up and try to grab it. <laughs> Wait, so that's an additional Minotaur that we hadn't seen before? Yeah, a Minotaur on the top floor. Totally different Minotaur. Oh, snap. 
grabs it and drags it inside. It's like flailing <laughs> and screaming. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the sounds of squishing and violence. That is it for the Minotaurs. Darius, the surprise round is over. What would you like to do? Well, I, was, I see that this one. Oh, go ahead. I was expecting this to just be a quick slap, uh, but given that we're actually doing combat, I'm going to turn on music. Go ahead. Hey, okay. Well, then I'm going to go ahead and run up and jump off of this Minotaur, kip up on him, and then, you know, mm -hmm. give a little a little slash to this guy. Okay. Roll an acrobatics check. Yeah. Dirty not, 20. Not only do you flip up there, but you make it look extremely cool. Hell yeah. You, you do not have sneak attack on this because you don't have flanking or anything like that. Uh, do my bird fly here and I can do this. <laughs> yes, your bird just, fly oh here. Yeah. <laughs> do, a little, do a little Prince of Persia. Do a little Prince of Persia. A little with, thunder. With some little alt lightning. action. I'm going to not omen because I would like to be able to try and move somewhere mm -hmm. else after this. I am, however, going to uh, salt its nuts. Okay. What? Roll, so. roll to salt. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it is thoroughly Damn. salty. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you got the got DPS, the crowd they, control, oh, cool. the ranged DPS, and the tank. You know, each of you has your own role. <laughs> and then that was 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, that was basically 30 feet. Uh, Darius lands, and uh, yeah, why not? I have my offhand dagger. It's going to yeah. be just disadvantage. I'm just going to throw a dagger. Okay, roll it. This this bastard over here. Yep, it's a it is a uh, throwing knife that is silvered. Mm -hmm. Throw a silver. It should not have uh, the sneak attack. Don't right. include the sneak attack. So and don't damage. include it's, a, it's just just three, just three points. Three damage. damage. Okay. Boink. And then Darren will fly up and hit it. Roll it. Yeah. Also a hit. Yeah. And then Darren's just gonna have was five, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty, thirty five. And right there, boop, other side of the Denator. Okay. Oh, Cro and Darius has a, no, that was, that was his bonus action. He's done. He's good. He's good. All right. Crozan, you got one extremely wounded and one bloodied target. Well, I'm going to grab both of them. <laughs> <laughs> now, kiss. <laughs> Old reliable. Attempts to slip out of the way. Fails. Roll against the other one. That's a negative Ghost Rider. Only a 14. Ah, get, ah, get juked. Get juked. And I have a bonus still, right? Mm-hmm. Well, you can still well, oh, hit the guy it. with the other guy. Yeah, I'll, I'll hit the guy with the other guy. Is that, does that count as an improvised weapon? Yes, it counts as an improvised weapon. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Kind of, okay. What kind of swing are you doing? Is this, a, is this baseball or is this ball? <laughs> what, are we, uh, what are we thinking? Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pinky's up the entire time. <laughs> when in doubt, Pinky out. Yeah, 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 like yeah. the scene from Alice in Wonderland where they exactly. use a flamingo for croquet, but it's a spine devil. So. Yeah. So should I roll this as a silver silver knuckle attack, but at a disadvantage then? Yeah, do that. <laughs> the smackdown has been laid, but you don't get that rage nice. bonus. You only get the seven. Oh, I gotta turn that off, don't I? Your primary target is killed. Nice. Actually, your weapon is killed. Your primary target is still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Important yes. distinction there. Yes. The thing is, you can keep using the, the killed weapon if you like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, by the end of it, it's just a bloody mess. It's all well, you know, it's it stops legs. squirming after the first few hits, and then it's more efficient. That's a real disadvantage, for, right? What, for, every point of, for every point of constitution, it can keep attacking. And once it expends <laughs> the constitution points, it's too ruined to be able to oh, continue. no! That Mike says, are we the baddies? We're the baddies. No, <laughs> these are the devils. Juice they don't count. In juice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's Slava Jobs? Devils have no right. <laughs> yeah, Slava's is right here. He's gonna, he's gonna slash the slash. Roll it. I imagine I'm right here too, right? Yeah, roll with advantage. Yikes. Slava Chops jumps onto it, claws out its eyes, and rides it all the way to the ground as it goes yeah. splat. <laughs> yeah, I do. Like Gandalf in two towers. And then yeah. after that triumphant victory, just sort of licks, starts grooming the, the, the beans. Nice. It is now the I would have expected a butt lick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. I have to look up their tactics. 
when their tactics are the get the hell out of, out of here. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. The remaining four devils, because there's oh, actually yikes. one that was hidden up here, they all are going to use their actions to dash and flee. Rhea got launched. She's not up on the roof, so she can't make an attack of opportunity. Nobody's in a position to make an attack of opportunity. The spined devils are going to fl- They have fly speed of 40 How far? Feet. Oh. Yeah, this one can go 80 feet away. Yeah, they can go 80 feet. Nice. Actually let them go. All right. Are you guys letting them flee? Is this one bloody? This one looks pretty bloodied over here. The one that I attacked in the Darren attack. Yes, it, yes it's bloodied. Yeah, Darren's, uh, Darren's is just going to shoot it with a short bow. <laughs> yeah, if I've okay. got... If I can fire, I don't think I can see any of them, but if I can, I will fire on Yeah, them. I think all of them are going to be out of your range in one round. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But Darius, you have a clean well, shot. I think someone just played a really important uh, card. Uh-oh. Devil's Bargain. Oh. Hard I'm going to hide, so let me roll to hide. Take a shot that it's not expecting. Where's my stealth? There Look it is. Face. Look at just the, 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 the little, little clockwork is ticking in there, and it's not good. Don't uh, don't worry about it. Okay, hey, mate. Did it did it survive a twenty one? It absolutely did not. They have twenty two <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay. Oh, sorry. An eleven, technically. Yeah, it did. It had nine health left. Cool. Good. 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 Now it has no health left. <laughs> no, <it's okay. laughs> Where's my special book about? Devil's Bargains. No, no, don't do that. I have a special book about Devil's Bargains. All right, well, the Minotaurs raise their axes, bellow, and beat their chests in triumph. And then, once again, urge you to follow them into the chamber. So... Uh, I know um, we peeked in before. What did yeah. we see? I see a lot I, of gore in there. I'm mm-hmm. going to tell everyone before we go in, I'm like, there's a few more in there. Maybe at least one, probably more. So mm-hmm. maybe we look in and don't go in. Uh, so I could see something really important, and I don't know if I, I can actually see it. What do you see? Um, something that starts with a B. Yeah, that's fine. He's in there. Okay. Okay. I see a bar, ball gura. So here's what you oh, see. That is- Inside, oh, they're demon servants. Nice. Inside this first chamber, broken gla- furniture, glass, demon ichor, and the remains of devils cover the floor and walls of the room. A oh. five-foot square br- empty brass plaque hangs over the bar. Loud snores reveal that three minotaurs are passed out behind the bar. Oh, they're, sh- they're supposed to be behind the bar. Hang on. They were speaking abyssal. That's what they were speaking. Oh, I speak abyssal. <laughs> ah. Well then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I'm the I'm the celestial cleric. I speak abyssal. All right. Well, give me a second. I'll tell you what it's they said. It's not fucking telling, is it? <laughs> I'm the good guy, y'all. My master was great. For your aid in battle, let us bring you to Korowek for your reward. As oh. long as you are with us, our allies will not strike you. Oh, okay, that's good to know. <laughs> um, more than not striking, uh, we are mortals, and we uh, would like to remain mortals of this kind and this <laughs> state in this plane for now. You um, have proven strong. Strength is good. Yeah, and uh, and I'm sure your gift would be lovely, and I'd love to know more about it before we commit. Do you have a pamphlet or something? <laughs> Pamphlet? We don't have a stupid pamphlet. Pamphlets are stupid. We use we use QR codes and we put our shit online. <laughs> <laughs> Can we interest you in Korowek coin? Oh no! <laughs> yeah, I'd like to get it on the ground floor before we go uh, to the moon on this, please. Uh-huh. Lambo when? <laughs> uh, what else was I saying? Right. A demon shows up, apparently. <laughs> yeah, so they're asleep. I'm, I'm still working on that. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> so, there, are, yeah, there are three of them snoring behind the bar. Uh, the, all the others have gathered, and they want to lead you into the back room, which is over here where the Balgura can be found. Do we know what that is? Uh, it's a... Well, let me read that. Reeking... Let's see. Da-da, snarling Balgura. It's like a big uh, ape devil or ape demon with orange fur and blue skin. So Winston. 
Evil Winston. Angry Winston. Winton Overwatch. What would the party like to do? The Minotaurs are standing a lot inside this room and sort of like gesturing for you to enter the, the main chamber. I mean, I see Crozen. Yeah, I'm going to go stand next to Crozen. What was that, Adam? What's the vibe? Like, is it like fairly cool as a cucumber? Oh, is why is it so dark in here? Why is it so dark? Because it's, it's dark. <laughs> yeah, because it's dark. Do you have a light source? Yeah, I'd fire up my light. I, I, I have a light. I have Enter. dark vision. That's why you can see. <laughs> Same. Yeah, that looks, that looks great. Okay. Yeah, this, is, this can't possibly go badly for us. The at vibe all. is right. violence. There's a lot of dead uh, puddles where demons used to be and a lot of dead devils, and this place is wrecked. Is there any you dead, see, like, mortal humans Conan? on the ground? Uh, the, the notes don't specifically say that. Okay. Okay. So but it's probably not all that? bad. I don't. I say there are no mortal remains inside this chamber. Cool, 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 cool. Do these people look just passed out from being drunk, or do they oh, look yeah. like injured? Okay, they're drunk. They're oh, their hardy. reward is they're they're going to get us drunk. They're going to put coins at the bottom of their glasses, and they're going to employ us in the army. Of the... <laughs> You're going to get <laughs> conscripted. What else would the party like to do? I want to leave. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of like I. I'm so grateful. Um, thank you so much. But we have to save these little meat bags back here. Um, if you see any more devils, keep fighting them. You know, go you, go team. No, you, you have are. slain the creatures that held us captive here that prevented us from fleeing. Now we can escape. For your reward, Korowick shall treat you handsomely. Uh oh. Who's, who's Korowick? Korowick is our leader. I would imagine it's, it's that monkey over there, right? <laughs> monkey. Does this, no, that is does this, does, this, does this Minotaur fully believe what it is saying? I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that, like, it's not trying to be devious or whatever, mm -hmm. but does it believe that, like, this is a totally up and up situation it's offering? Roll an insight check. In its mind, I'm sure it is, but, you know, turning into a, a great, you know, uh, unholy beast would probably be a really cool thing in his mind. Uh, so. It they seem to believe what they're saying. Okay. And these are minotaurs. They're not demonic minotaurs or... They're minotaurs. Half minotaur, half fiend. They appear yeah. to be minotaurs. Okay. <sighs> but they're like chaotic evil, aren't they? Or lawful evil? What do you want to say? I, Darius is going to turn to Robert. Robert, what would Omater say about this offering, this gift? Omater <sighs> would... Like, is it the enemy of my enemy? Is my friend in the situation, or is this never accept, never bargain with the with with evil? Like, what are we, what are we looking at here? I, well, I, I would like to a... have you know communion with you right now. Right. Uh, I guess knowledge religion, just because I don't know the history as well as my character would. Mm -hmm. Okay, the teachings of El Mater. The Mater is the. See, do, do, do. I feel like it takes the bad with the good. Life like it's suffering. <laughs> right. So I would say. Ilmater is the most forgiving of beings. Uh, okay. Remains hopeful that evil beings could one day be turned to good or destroyed. Well, so, you know. Yeah, and, you know, we are the heroes who've been tasked with saving this city. And destroying it. Yeah, Robert would be like, well, enemy of enemy is my friend, and if they're offering to help, like, we, we truthfully, we need it. So okay. I'm good. I'm good with Robert on this, then. All right. Trust the fearless leader. I'm going to go ahead and, yeah. and book my I told you so right here, and let's yeah, go ahead and... Uh, <laughs> don't accept anything. That's the thing. Like, yeah, let's, maybe let's hop, we okay. uh, leave Embarto out back protecting the women and children. Uh, I'm the one who speaks you know. Abyssal, so I'm the only one who can talk. Mm, okay, that's true. <laughs> He's like, no, no, really, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait outside. No, you do. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go talk with Gorak. Uh, yeah. I think we, we should all go in there. I don't think you should go by yeah, yourself. Go yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Raya will hang outside with the kids. We'll, we'll protect the women and children. All right. Yeah. So, By the way, so, so mate, so just outside, keeping an eye out, when we move in here, can you give me, like, as we're moving through the entrances, the exits, everything, like, as we're mm -hmm. moving through this area, this area, are this area? Are there windows in this room? There are windows in this room. Windows uh, that could fit a dwarf or a couple of humans? Not a minotaur, but a dwarf. 
How about a human? A human with some effort. Yes. Can you can you point out the windows and all uh, these? They're different not places? on the map. They're just assume that they're along the way. There's a couple of windows. Okay. Cool. Okay. So we could just jump out the window if we needed to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, there's also a door that goes to back here behind the bar. Yeah, behind the sleeping, potentially enraged. Mm-hmm. Inside yeah. this chamber, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> reeking humanoid bodies with bloody mazes ah, carved into their chests litter the floor of this room. A minotaur wearing black plate armor that has attached two black antlers to his horns with bloody sinew sits on a mound of devil corpses at the center of the room. A snarling Barlgura demon with blood splattered orange fur stands beside the seated minotaur. Is that, is that comfortable? That, I feel like you sitting on bodies all day would not be comfortable. Victory and the corpses of the defeated are always comfortable. He says in common. Oh, very nice. <laughs> oh. My warriors say you have broken the Archduke of Avernus' blockade and we are free to leave. Is this true? Indeed we it is. got in here. We're not sure if we broke the broke the blockade, but yeah, we got in here. The spined devils have been swatted down from the sky. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Mm-hmm. For your help and letting us leave, I offer you a magic sword, most powerful and foul with holy light. Oh yeah. <laughs> holy light or unholy light? It is disgusting. It's radiant, sickening. Yes. Hey, that sounds that sounds <laughs> dreadful. Uh, where you can you know what we can get rid of that thing for you. Uh, yeah, not yeah. really a problem. Let let me take, let's just take that off your hands. Like we don't we know that's the icky stinky and you don't like it. Like then I will gather it. my forces and we shall leave at last. If you want to yeah, take some uh, uh, devils with you. Oh, hey, do, are you on LinkedIn? Are you on, you know, can we, like, exchange information right now just in case, like, you know, later on? Our glorious lord, Baphomet, oh, plays right. even now oh, upon shit. this city, <laughs> fighting for this glorious prize. Fantastic. You guys hate devils. How do you feel about trapped mortals? Where does that, where do they stand? Delicious. Good. Understandable. Yeah. Have a nice day. Um, we'll, we'll is is it later. possible for you to like, not avoid the mortal? No, no, no. My friend here got a clunk in the head during that fight. You know, <laughs> down, down with everyone who isn't us. Fuck everyone who isn't us. Um, you know, uh, we'll 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 just be taking our meat bags that we're going to consume later, and we'll be out of your hair. Yeah, Don't these worry are about our tasty meat bags. Um, <laughs> I licked it, so it's mine. You can't have it. Um, <laughs> Thank you. We're, we were happy to help, and uh, you know, fuck devils. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, I can agree on that, for sure. Definitely <laughs> fucked up. That, like, actually, or just, like, figuratively? Yes. My friend here got a bunk in the head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bummed. Cursed. Okay. Uh, are you good for it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I'm not going to touch it with my hands. Just All right, so it. the... Korowak is going to shout to his allies who come... Where are the... Oh, the stairs are in this room. All right. Three more minotaurs... <laughs> hey guys, where are the stairs? I need to find them. <laughs> Three more minotaurs come oh, tromping shit. down the stairs. I'm really glad we didn't try to fight this. Can you As imagine? does <laughs> another <laughs> Barl Gura. Oh, oh shit! God. How did they not break through? The blockade was four devils! What the hell is this? <laughs> they were ten, and you drove them off. That's true. Good call. And there were actually more, but, you know, now that you've broken the blockade, they have a chance. And of rock. I love how they were just, oh, my God. I love how the they were just getting that? drunk in here while they were waiting for someone to help. And Dude. They, they leave. Hey, can you guys imagine what we would have done if we would have just started hitting minotaurs? <laughs> we would have been, we would have been wrecked. I, like, think we've learned, I think we've learned a lesson. I think we learned a valuable lesson. Make friends with the bad guys. <laughs> no, I feel, I feel like we could have taken them. Like it would have been a very bloody, dirty fight. With oh yeah, almost all of our resources expended. We would have had to pull out all the stops. Hey, who the hell is this? Is there a closet here too? Just one closet? Yep. Who's that? <laughs> hey, what's going little, on, little dude? The little, the little baby. Yeah, good to see you guys. Thanks for the help. <laughs> Enjoy the sword. All right. So you guys get to let them leave? Hell yeah! Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay. I swear to God, if we come to the high hall and they're like murdering all the civvies in there, and we're like, shit. 
I feel like we see a lot of devils, and they're gonna start with the devils. And then once the devils are gone, then it's gonna you know new yeah. management. Elsewhere yeah, falls think, under new management. <laughs> also, I think they'll take targets of opportunity as well. Oh, but sure. At, at sure. the same time, but um, we're saving targets of opportunity, so that's good for us. I uh, I would love to give that guy his sword back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh look, the closet stayed. Guys, you want to play with a closet before they leave? No thanks. I'm cool. Bye. <laughs> What the hell just <laughs> happened? We almost died. <laughs> okay, so... Amorza, why are you still in there? Get the hell out of that house. Before he leaves, so, Korowek says, The hateful blade lies beneath my throne. He also digs through the throne to pick up some other treasures that he does not bring with you. That he does not oh. leave for you. That's fine. Um, what are they, by the way, these treasures? <laughs> He takes, uh, let's see. Slide of hand. Slide of hand. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean. It's just a sack. It's just a sack? There's a sack. I have a sack. He takes a I sack. I have a sack. Do, okay. Where's the sack? He takes it from underneath his throne. Look, Matt. Yeah? If you yeah. try to steal the sack <laughs> and you fail, I have to put all those monsters back on the board. That I know how to fail, huh, mate? That I, you better be like invested in the success of this venture. <laughs> oh, okay. Because they're leaving, right? They're all leaving. Yeah, they're leaving. You know what? You know what? Yeah, just let it, let it go. We'll, we'll get are, you you like, to, are you going to try to swap yeah. the sack? Well, so here's, here's what I'm thinking. I've got a sack. They've got a sack. I can do that thing where I like bump into them. Like once I was relieved. Oh, sorry, sorry. You first, you first. And then, you know, we just exchange, you know, we, we exchange goods, you know? Large creature. It's can large I distract him? Can I distract him while? Oh shit! Is it a bag full of cheese? It's not a bag full of cheese. It okay. clinks and jingles. Oh no! Are okay, you, are Matt, you are you going for it? No use for money down here. Don't do it. If it's money, we don't need it. But we don't but know what it not. is. It could be money. You just heard it clink and jingle, you bastard. <laughs> I need the party to make a decision. <laughs> I'm going to stop him. I, I I'll let, it, let, I'll let it. it go. Well, Hey, first of all, you have no idea what I'm doing. Second of all, I'll... I'll I, I, know, I know you enough by now to know that so you're here, about to steal some so shit. That's so here, here, here's, what happen, here's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Darius looks at everybody in turn. Everyone's like, don't fucking no, do no, it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Darius like, all right, all right, all right. All right. Darius puts the, to he puts the sack away. Like, okay, fine, fine, fine. Oh. Okay. Inside, do you guys want to go in and dig through the mound of humanoid corpse, of devil corpses to find the sword? With humanoid, no. Sick. Wait, devil. Oh, that's right. This is hell. They're dead, dead. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. There are humanoids, mortals, all over the place. Dead. But, oh, wait. But you said that there weren't. In this room. In this room. In this back room. Oh, in this room. Mm -hmm. Oh. But his yeah. throne, his chair was devil corpses. Okay, right. I guess that's okay. With a sick, I will dig through it. Okay. I ain't put with my damn hands in there. With a sick? A stick. Oh, I take out my shovel. Are you kidding me? I put my you shovel, shovel. on. I, I, I have a freaking I'm shovel, holding. man. Come on. <laughs> I start just shoveling <laughs> devil corpses out okay. of the way. <laughs> Digging through. When it emerges... It is somehow completely clean, despite this pile of, of the dead. It shimmers with a holy light. It's hilt of platinum with stones what? embedded in it and a holy symbol. And it glows and its light shines across the chamber in defiance of this infernal place. Oh my gosh. The party has discovered a holy avenger. <gasps> No way! And we'll be right back after a short break. Oh my god! Father Joey, what? So are you? Are you starting to do these last rites? What are you? What are you doing over there? Requiem eternam donai dominate lux perpetua luceate is. Roll, roll for Latin, like the language. <laughs> With everything that's mater going on, suai, mater suai, your mom, your mom, your mom. <laughs> it's it's incredible how <laughs> it's incredible 